up YouTube, Topaz Ace back for another album review and this one is to that Gucci Mane Wattober. And you know this is the latest album that Gucci Mane has released and the more and more you listen to him, the more you realize that you have to come to the understanding that he is pretty much one of the forefathers of where the commercial industry is at right now, man. And I understand why you have to have a certain amount of knowledge about the streets and the commercial industry, man, because the streets is unpredictable. You never know who the streets is going to rally behind, who they're going to prop up and make them into the next person that they want to support. And because the commercial industry wants to profit off of this, man, they usually just try to seek out whatever music is popping and try to bring it out on their own terms, therefore making it ten times worse. And that's exactly what you see with a lot of these newer acts and everybody out there, man. They trying to be like Gucci Mane, but they can't do it as well as Gucci Mane does it. Because the instances where Gucci Mane is at his best is usually centered around when he has a solid concept and such, man. And you know, a lot of these new trap rappers and all that, they can't do a concept song to save their lives. But yet, this is what Gucci really does. Like, take the song The Left, which I really like this joint, where he's doing some wordplay all around the world left, in which he's taking it in a bunch of different directions on how he'll slap somebody up with his left hand, or he'll only splow you up with a left hand in order to show his disrespect to you. He talks about how life situations tend to go left, which means things are just going bad. Then he starts going into a literal sense of it, where he starts talking about how he's left-handed and all of that, man. Definitely a solid concept. There. Now, Money Machine was pretty solid of a track as well, even though the concept really wasn't that strong with it, simply because when you get Rick Ross on a concept track, you have to already chop that up because he never raps on a topic ever. So when I first came across the song, I was thinking that it's just going to be an ode to the Money Machine and how much money these individuals are making, but not really. Because when you break down Gucci Mane's verse, he's really talking about the machines that you need to to have when your money is clocking up like it is for the money machine. Now he takes it to the realm of impossibilities and stuff when he starts talking about a time machine and all of that man, but in the end he took it in a different direction and I definitely did enjoy it because of that. But yet my favorite song off this would be that Addicted track because on this is his concept song of taking a support group, and you know the typical speeches that you gotta do when you in like Alcoholic Anonymous or something man, that they pretty much show in all of the movies and all that is you stand up and say I'm so and so when I'm an alcoholic or whatever. He took that concept and twisted it the way that you would expect Gucci Mane to go ahead and twist it up by saying, yes, I'm an addict. Not only am I addicted to this lean, but I'm also addicted to these bad women, to these guns, to making all this money. Definitely a solid twist to it. But yet the things that help Gucci Mane create solid songs and stuff, they are also the same things that make him create some terrible joints, man. Like when he did that Love Your Body joint where that's a concept track where he's ultimately talking about how he enjoys women's body more than the actual mental capacities and actual relationships that he could possibly have with them, but yet it just does not come together at all with that production and with the overall lyrics that he's rapping on it. It was pretty terrible. Then he does certain songs like Wap and Bling Blah, where there's no really concept to it. It's more of him trying to make something catchy and try to get a right beat to go along with it, and those songs are hit or miss and he misses a bunch of times on him. In the end, this project was not phenomenal by a long shot, but yet it was wasn't bad either, man. I overall give this joint a 5 out of 10. When I say go ahead and peep on out, but nothing much more than that. But this concludes today's review, and now we're going to jump into a brief instrumental from Underground Producer, Mr. Live, before we jump into the news and then jump into an article from DownloadPaz.com. <laughs> dropping a book called The Infamous Cookbook where he's pretty much breaking down how unhealthy you're living while you're going into prison because what they ultimately are giving you is slop and which in that slop you could have all types of things from glass to anything that will straight up mess you up. So in the book he's talking about how most people within the jail get like candies and stuff sent to them in which they're living so unhealthy off of that it really messes up their life. So what he did was have his family send him pounds of fresh vegetables and 
and everything. And he aligned himself up with certain individuals in which they made sure that they all was eating good and they all cooked up something by the end of the day. And if you guys remember the movie Goodfellas, that's kind of what this sounds like and such. And it's definitely something that interests me. But anyway, on to today's article from DownloadPads.com. And today's article is about how people try to live and die with the same formula no matter what. Because here's the thing, how most rappers try to go about reaching the music industry is usually the same thing over and over and over from when they first coming into the game, man. Like they automatically assume that they got it right from the beginning. And because they have no other ideas on how to do things differently, they try to do this same formula over and over. And then if they don't succeed, they'll take it to the deathbed believing that they did everything possible in order to succeed when honestly that's not what happened. Like you have to be able to get out of your comfort zone, try new things, try to make the right formula for your own success. Just because you have a formula to try to do something with it doesn't mean it's the right one. In the end, the only thing people are going to respect is whether you succeeded or not. So therefore, you got to be willing enough to switch up your formulas, try something new, and try to find your own success. I hope you enjoyed the show. You can follow me at Twitter up there. And you can go to DownloadPads.com, that's down there, to read today's article.